so I have been reading a lot. Uh, some of you know the books because you're following me on Snapchat. If you're not following me on Snapchat, my personal Snapchat is Morelli's World. It's my last name with an S and then World. And um, if you go there today, actually, uh, I'm not sure how I went off on this tangent about self-auditing and uh, maximizing and going all in on your strengths and then it turning into some straight fire with regards to this book I'm reading, Conscious Language. Let me grab it really quickly and show you. This book right here is an absolute game changer. So, so good. Um, just an unbelievable book and, and so you know, I'm thinking about what I want to come on here and share with you because I've got all of this information and it's just like, all right, I want to hone in on one thing so that I can really deliver value and leave you with an action, leave you with an actionable item, something that you can do tomorrow, one thing, right? One thing you can do tomorrow that will, in this case, 10x your relationships. And that's what I've decided to talk about. Now, I was sort of torn between talking about this thing that I'm gonna talk about and feelings and perception and reality. And so I decided to talk to you today about validation and being validated and feeling validated. Um, the reason behind this conversation uh, or behind the material that I'm gonna talk to you about today is you know, I've got two. I've got two kids. I've got a three-year-old, and I've got a going on two-year-old boy. And if you've got kids, they act up, and we're quick to to try to whip them into shape, right? Instead of maybe taking a look back and saying, "Hey, they don't really know how to communicate just yet. What's going on, and how can I treat this a little bit differently?" So my fiance is reading books on parenting and all of these different things. And what we found, right, is that if we give our kids, based on this information she's reading, if we give our kids each 10 minutes a day twice, so, and we're talking about undivided attention by themselves. So not together. So I take Karina and I spend 10 minutes with her by herself. And then I take Carmelo and I spend 10 minutes by myself, by ourselves with him. And I do that twice a day, or we've been doing that twice a day. And what we found is that the kids are much better behaved. They're way better behaved, in fact. And so I'm thinking about this and I'm like, you know what? Humans possess the same thing. We just want to be validated. And, and so, you know, if you look at the definition behind the validated, it's to make valid, to substantiate, to confirm. And what I am going to boil that down to is that we just all want to matter. We just all want to matter. And I get goosebumps talking about it because we just, at the end of the day, want to matter to somebody. Some of us want to matter to just one person. Some of us want to matter to thousands of people and millions of people. But at the end of the day, we're all just doing the same and after the same, same thing. And that is to just matter, to just matter to our parents, right? To just matter to our kids, uh, to just matter to uh, those closest to us, our bosses, as we try to uh, impress upon them. And when we don't get that validation, right? We tend to, we tend to start talking to ourselves and that's when the limiting beliefs and the limiting language and behaviors start to take place. And so I believe, right after reading and, and now applying some of this is that if you validate people, your relationships will blossom. And that's why I say 10X your relationship. Validate, and, and I'm not saying that you always have to agree with the way a person is feeling because let's face it, right? We know, we know that we can't teach people how to feel. We can't tell people how to feel. We know that feelings are typically based on perception, based on past experiences, based on a current situation or uh, a reality that may be different than, than what you think or your reality or your perception of it because we all have a different set of circumstances and as a result of those past experiences and circumstances, we have a, a value system that 
is sort of been instilled in us. And so as a result of these experiences, right, our reality and our perception is one way. It's, it's been guided. And until you get new information, until you start to take a look at these things and become more aware, it's very difficult to understand things sometimes the way uh, uh, the other person sees it. And so we automatically discount it as, oh my gosh, how the hell are you feeling that way? I don't feel that way. Well, you feel that way as a result of what's gone in your life. And so we have to start to remove and uncover the layers of our awareness and become totally aware that reality and perception changes based on the individual and those experiences that shaped him or her. And that everybody deserves to be validated because everyone, everyone is a unique and thoughtful, caring being, right? Despite trials, tribulations, and sometimes crime and, and the things that go on, we are still unique. We are still being. And, and certainly as a result of some of that crime, right, you have to take a look at what's going on in that person's life. And you can start to uncover and unravel the things that that person didn't get or got or where they grew up. But at the end of the day, we all just want to matter. And I believe, I firmly believe that if you start telling people that, the world is going to be a better place and you're going to start 10xing your relationships. You know, what happens today is, is it, what happens today when you go home to your spouse, to your wife or to your husband and you just look that person in the eye and you say, gosh, thank you for having my back. You matter. I love you. What happens today when you go home and you sit with your kid alone for 10 minutes and you spend quality time with him or her and you just pat them on the back, get real present and in the moment and just tell them that you love them and that they matter. Because at the end of the day, we all just want to matter to somebody, myself included. And so these are the things that I'm reading that I'm going to put into practice even more and more because I know how much they mean to people. And I don't know about you, but I, I want better relationships in my life. I want to attract better people. And you know you teach people how to treat you. So if you're constantly validating people, if you're constantly telling people that they matter, now I'm not saying that you're going to toss out some fluff and, 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 and do it in a, in a deceiving or a dishonest way or just because there's a, a motivation, a, some sort of agenda or motivation behind it. I'm saying you look somebody in the eyes that has your back and you just say, man, you matter to me. Thank you for teaching me that. Thank you for impacting my life. Thank you for the things that you said. Thank you for the smile. Thank you for just thank you and you matter. So that's the message today. Quick message on validation. I know you know this stuff. I know this stuff right way down. I know that people want to matter. I know that people need validation, but we forget. I forget. I forget to validate people. I forget to validate the people that mean more to me than anyone on the universe. I forget to validate the people that are closest to me, the people that are going to be there on my deathbed. I forget to validate those people. So if I forget to validate those people, I'm certainly forgetting to validate others that deserve it. And so again, rip, rip off another layer of awareness. Get really aware and understand that everybody is unique and everybody deserves to matter. Your relationships will blossom. You'll start to get the same in return and you'll live a happier, healthier, more productive life as a result of it. I can assure you. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that you'll catch me on, on my personal Snapchat at Morelli's World. Uh, I will be posting stuff like this more often uh, if that's what you want. And, um, Thank you so much for the attention today. It's Sunday. I know it's Sunday fun day. I know you're hanging out with the family. I know you got lots going on. And I appreciate you. I appreciate the little bit of attention that you've given me. So have a great rest of your Sunday. Set yourself up for crazy success this week. Set a little goal that's specific, measurable, and attainable. Stay dialed in. Stay the course. Be patient, right? Take care, guys. Bye.